consummate professional. Let's go. Been a very good servant to the impact. Now here's a chance. Comes way low. Oh, and Bush palms it over, trying to preserve a ninth shutout. Bobby, in 2018, there was no goalkeeper busier than Evan Bush in the Montreal Impact. The former French international Joel Batts came with Rene Yard from France and has been working with him in the gym, all about footwork, saying that it doesn't have to be weight training, it, it's your footwork. A great footwork from Bush just to get across you. Fullback Awful gets in behind Piatti to set himself up. Bush does an excellent job just to stay big. A lot of. Save look really easy. been happy here and uh, it's been eight years that I've been here um, you know my family is you know from here we're expecting a third in January so for my role in the locker room is to to not show you know that you know we're frustrated or, or negativity is creeping in if anything I need to be the guy that's that's always you know an even keel and um, you know sure on the field showing emotion and passion and, and lifting the team is important but um, you know in the day-to-day -day and week-to-week -week stuff uh, I need to be one of those guys that's that's a rock in there and a lot of variables and Joel was certainly a, a major a major one there 
Um, in addition, you know, I think that just having uh, a certain amount of games and understanding different situations and experiencing different things throughout, uh, you know, throughout the seasons is, has helped me. Um, whether it was, you know, 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, highs, lows, whatever it was, learning how to, to manage those and, um, you know, progressing through those. So, you know, we've had some really good moments, you know, in the past, uh, particularly in 2015 and 2016. I learned from those while also learning from, uh, you know, the, the declines in 2017 and, and trying to, to bounce back from that. Bring those things together with, uh, you know, what Joel asked of me this year and, and changing certain things in, you know, my preparation, my, uh, my mental outlook, my perspective, my... Uh, my work in the gym, my work, you know, off the field, my diet, a lot of things went into it. And, you know, I don't think that there's ever a moment in anybody's career. Uh, I know you mentioned the plateau and, and, and certainly there's going to be a point where, you know, guys decline naturally because of age and stuff like that. But I don't think that there's ever a point where as a professional, you should ever uh, accept that you're just declining. There's always a way to, to, to get better, whether that's physically, mentally, whatever it is you adapt to whatever the situation is. So as your body declines, you have to get sharper mentally. If you're, if you're not sharp mentally, you have to be better uh, physically. So there's always something that you can uh, draw upon. And you know, you know, I, I tried to do that this year, and uh, I'll certainly try to continue to do that uh, as long as I'm playing. Back at you know, some of those games, and uh, we were giving up you know, four or five goals, but I'm, I was making nine, 10, 14 saves in one game. And uh, that's not to say that like that was good or I was proud of that, but um, it showed that you know there was positives coming from you know uh, you know from a personal standpoint there that I had to focus on because I knew that if I didn't focus on the positives and you know keep uh, keep the proper mentality and perspective for myself, then it would have you know slid downhill for for everybody for the group. And my my mentality and my psyche during that time was the same that I took from the end of the year last year into the into the into the off season was that I was just going to block out everything else I was going to focus on on what my job was and, and control what I could control um, I think that you know I was able to do that and if I wasn't able to do it at the start of the season then I probably would have drove myself crazy for sure um, you know I take a lot of pride in that